All right guys, so today I am back with another golf course fishing video, as you can probably tell by the green behind me. And today I am actually at the exact same pond at the exact same course that I made my last golf course video at. But today we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Now for today's video, I actually wanted to put a little bit of a twist on it. I was originally just gonna go largey fishing like normal, just like I did last year. But I figured since I did that last year, I didn't wanna kinda repeat that video twice. So to put a little bit of a twist on it, I basically went out to my local sporting goods store and picked out some of the absolute weirdest and strangest topwater lures I think I've ever seen. And we're gonna do a little weird lure topwater fishing challenge. Now, the weird lures that I picked out for today's video are the Lunker Hunt Dragonfly. Definitely think this is an interesting one. I've never seen a dragonfly lure, but considering that largemouth tend to eat dragonflies a lot, at least with my experience they do, I'm guessing this probably is actually a pretty common lure, but I've at least never seen one. Uh, next up, we have the Giant Water Bug. Definitely never seen one of these lures. This is probably gonna be kind of a difficult one, but it almost has a lip on it, as you can see, like a popper. So should move a lot of water, should be a pretty decent bait. And for the last one, we have probably the weirdest bait I got, the uh, good old turtle. This one's definitely gonna be a, a challenge to catch fish on. It looks kind of, I don't wanna say gimmicky, but it looks pretty cheap and it kind of was pretty cheap. So I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. So uh, enough talking and uh, let's see if we can catch some fish on some of the weirdest lures I've ever seen in my life. All right, so I think I definitely wanna save the turtle for last since that's kind of the weirdest one we have here. So I think I'm actually gonna start out with the good old dragonfly. And um, you know, from the looks of it, it doesn't look too bad, but one thing I did notice about this bait is it is extremely light. I'm pretty sure it's only like a quarter of an ounce or something. So this is probably gonna be a challenge to cast, but in terms of, you know, catching a fish, it probably shouldn't be too hard. But uh, yeah, we'll get it tied on and we'll see how it goes. All right, first cast with the good old dragonfly. Yeah, I was definitely right about this thing being super light. It's barely castable. But you know, I think we can make it work. Oh my, <laughs> that was the biggest blow up. Oh, that was awesome, okay. Well, first fish on the bank, on the dragonfly. Choked it too. Well, there we go guys, Um, about a half pounder I would say. Definitely not the, uh, the biggest fish I've seen in this pond, but you know what, for a weird lure challenge, I'll take it. That was only like fifth cast as well, it's definitely, much easier with not pressured fish. So there you go, buddy. Oh, also, I think I forgot to mention this in the intro, but this challenge is in fact complete when I catch a fish on each one of the different baits. So that's a pretty important part of the challenge. I should probably get that out of the way. All right, dragonfly has been knocked out and I'm going to be moving on to the giant water bug. This one I think will move significantly more water than the dragonfly for sure. But um, just considering that it's about twice the size of the dragonfly, I'm not sure how it's gonna perform with some of the smaller fish that are in these ponds. We might have to get like a three pounder in order to, you know, get one to bite it. So that could be a bit of a challenge, but we're still gonna go for it. Actually, wait, I have a fish. I was about to go in. No, I lost him. I was about to go in because there's golfers right here, but. Well, I'm gonna head in the woods for a few minutes, let these guys golf, but then, uh, yeah, we'll be right back at it. Oh, there we go. That actually feels like a good one. Yeah, I'm the giant water bug. No way. Oh, that's like the probably fourth fish I've lost. Is this thing that much of a piece of garbage? Oh, 
there we go. This one's not coming off. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Yes. Two hours later, we finally got the giant water bug done. Oh, wow. Thank you for biting, buddy. You have somewhat made my uh, pain with the giant water bug end, so thank you for that. All right, here you go, buddy. Thank you for biting once again. All right, guys, and just like that, we are moving on to our final bait, the turtle. And you know, when I originally thought about this challenge and the baits that I bought, I was actually thinking that the turtle is gonna be the hardest, but after spending three hours with the giant water bug and losing four or five fish, I'm not really sure that this thing is much worse than the water bug. We might actually catch something a little bit faster. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Hopefully this thing has a halfway decent action and hopefully we can finish this challenge off strong. Oh, are you serious? Stuff's actually going for this. Oh, I see him too. It's actually a decent one. Okay. Come here, bud. Come back for it. Oh, he ate it again. He does not want to commit. There we go. Right on the back. Hey, there we go. That's actually a way better fish. That's like a two pounder. Whew. Just like that, the weird lure challenge golf course edition has been completed. There we go, and we're ending it off on a solid fish. Probably almost two pounds. I wouldn't, yeah, I don't think he's quite two, but definitely a solid fish to end off the night. All right, let's get you back in the water. Here he goes. All right guys, so that was actually a much more difficult challenge than I was expecting actually. I mean, the dragonfly, we got a fish probably fifth cast or so, like it was, the dragonfly was really quick. And then we switched to the giant water bug, which took me two, almost three hours to get even remotely close to landing a fish. And then the last one, the turtle, was actually like eighth or ninth cast or something. It just got absolutely smoked right at the bank. So definitely a cool challenge and I'll probably do some stuff again like this in the future if you guys wanna see that. But otherwise, I know this video is gonna be pretty short so I think I'm gonna throw on some more conventional tackle like finesse type stuff, maybe a Ned Rig or something. And uh, we'll see if we can catch a few more largies before the end of the night. I know that this video is gonna be kinda of scarce in terms of fish since we only caught three. So kinda of wanna throw a few more in there but uh, yeah, like I said, let's see if we can catch something else. That's a hit. There he is. There we go. That might be a better one. Yeah, it's definitely a better fish. Oh yeah, that's another one and a half pounder. Gotta tear him out of here though. There we go. That one's definitely bigger than most of the ones we've caught. Totally inhaled that super fluke as well. There we go. a tiny one. 
He's going water skiing. Got him. There it is. I saw him eat that. It's not a bad one either. There we go. That's a solid fish. That's probably a little past one. I say solid fish and it's only like a pound, but most of the fish in here are like eight inches to a half a pound. So this is a nice chunky fish for this, for this pond. All right guys, so when I originally started, there was actually quite a few golfers out here and I had to move behind that little wood shed over there every time someone came through, but the golf traffic has slowed down considerably. So, you know, I think if we're on a golf course, the only thing left to do is uh, try to catch a fish from the green here. So, no, I've got a Senko on here and uh, let's give it a cast. If I can even get it out far enough. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. I think we have a fish. I got him. I think. Yeah, I definitely do. He's just snagging all the grass. Get up here, buddy. Oh, he's so tiny. There we go. Fish from the green. We did it. All right, guys. So there we go. First ever fish from a putting green. I'm guessing this has been done somewhere in the world before, but probably not too many times. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this guy back in the water and uh, he still seems pretty healthy, so. Here you go, bud. Well guys, overall I would say we had a pretty successful day out here on the golf course. We didn't catch any really big fish. I think our biggest bass was probably one and a half or two pounds. But first and foremost, we did complete the weird lure challenge. That was kind of our main objective for the night. But we did also end up catching quite a few more fish actually on some more conventional gear, so. With that said, we're going to end the video here. Today's daily shout out goes to Maripai Fishing. Thank you for subscribing, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.